Hello, Kate here, MyNaturalHappiness.com, creator of the Seeds of Change program to help you go from hamster to happiness. I hope you're well and I hope you're having an amazing day. I thought I would come on again and just talk about how people can feel when we're stepping into the deepest, darkest days of the year. So um, for me, as I shared in the last video, it's, a, it's always a challenging time for me. And the reason I created the Seeds of Change program and the reason that I run my natural happiness is because I have worked with, learnt, used and developed tools that have really helped me. And so I like to share others and it's because I've worked with, uh, I've gone through things that a lot of my clients have gone through and so I know what it feels like. And I thought I would just ponder with you. Um, I'm just coming for a walk. I'll do a quick little viewpoint. So if you're having a difficult day, you can tune into some nature. Um, so yeah, um, it is, I think there's a great pressure at this time of year to feel happy and to celebrate and to be full of the joys of Christmas, um, which is all very well when it actually comes to Christmas. And at the same time, it's December, it's early December, is it the 4th? I'm terrible at dates. And we're not at Christmas yet, and we're at the time where it's really busy in the shops. Routines have changed. Um, as a, a mo uh, many people, there's a to-do list as long as you're arm. And it can be really, really challenging for some people because uh, it's not happy to be in it for a lot of people, myself included, to be bustling around really busy shops and, um, uh, and you know, not even be able to go in food shop without having Christmas food like, rammed everywhere when it's like, it's not Christmas. And it can be really challenging. And so if, if you're one of the people that finds this time of year a little bit more challenging, just be okay with that. Take the pressure off. Um, don't you know what I've learned is not to try and fight it it we you know if we're working with the seeds of change with the with the time of year with the seasons that we're in then you know we are stepping in to the darkest time of the year this I'm on my I've made a purposeful time to come for a walk um before it gets dark and it you know it's barely three o'clock and it's already getting a bit darker and so we are go stepping into the darkest time of the year and what i've learned is to just lean into that and to feel it and to learn from it and to have it as a bit more of a hibernation time and a bit more of a self-reflection turn inwards and and think about and reflect on how the year's gone. Not with a heavy heart, but just with a, you know, quietness, a centeredness and a groundedness and just being in the moment as opposed to trying to be happy for everyone else because that's not always the reality. So if, if that helps you, just lean into it lean into the fact that it is that we are stepping into the darkest times and think about um think about you a little bit more go into a bit of hibernation and nurture and restore and regenerate your soul as we step forward into the festive season would be my advice when the things that i've learned that have helped me over the many years of me working and have I got it right every year? No! <laughs> um, am I getting it right more years than not? Yes. And what's what's really helped me, online shopping has really helped me because having been to a couple of shops already, I'm like, I'm going to do my best now to get everything ordered so that I don't have to go into busy shops where there's all this stuff everywhere and people and it's not me it, it, it never really has been me so that's one way for me to manage things um and also i have got a few really wonderful things that i'm looking forward to i'm, I'm singing in my choir at a, a christmas market which will be beautiful but it's a smaller christmas market and it won't be so busy so that will fit in perfectly with my energy um I'm I'm with family and I'm looking forward to being with family. I've got a couple of amazing Christmas parties booked which I'm looking forward to. 
But the other thing that I'm mindfully and purposefully doing is blocking out time for me. So there are days that I am blocking out a couple of hours for me to do nothing. And I, and it's a way for me to balance that energy. It works for me. So if you're struggling with things at the moment, what I would say is what works for you? What makes you happy? What fills your soul? Is it a half an hour walk, which is what I'm doing right now before it gets dark? Is it a, a hot bath? What is it that fills your soul and to create time for that as we move forward? Um, and it, it, people can often say to me, oh, but I don't have time, but I don't have time. When we procrastinate and procrastinate and procrastinate about things, we take up time. So if we just get stuff done, it means that we have time to do it. So if that helps you at all, um, there's lots of tools and techniques that I uh, share on the Seeds of Change program to help people do that. But hopefully that's helped. Um, so just not, but just take the pressure off. That's the biggest thing I would say right now. Take the pressure off. There is no need to feel as if you are have to be happy for the entire December, which is what you know a lot of a lot of people that I see have this sort of. They feel the pressure. They do feel the pressure, and it's okay not to be. It's okay. Um, we are stepping into the darkest time of the year, and it's okay to be happy, obviously, but it's also okay to just lean into that and to be in a bit more of self-preservation and and reflection mode before the days start getting longer again, which are around the time that we start celebrating uh, whichever you know many faiths that you, that celebrate this time of year. Um, once the days start to get a bit longer and we can celebrate that the sun is coming back S-U-N, the sun <laughs> is coming back so yeah, that's my little thought process for uh, the day to hopefully share some TLC with you uh, as I have my mindful half an hour walk at lunchtime I usually go for a walk when I finish work and at this time of year I very mindfully agree that I'm going to finish work a little bit later um, and go for a walk while it's light. My other ponderings, which I'd love your feedback, is I'm wearing the man's coat. It's very warm and I'm wondering whether I can get away with just completely nicking it. It's very warm and I'm going on a walking holiday with my family without him in the middle of winter. Do you think he'll notice if I nick it for a week? <laughs> anyway, so big huge hugs to you. I hope you're having an amazing day and just celebrate when you're feeling happy and be okay with it if you're not because it's okay. It really is okay. Take your pressure off yourself. Right, carry on with the walk and back to work. Have the most amazing day and uh, big hugs. And I hopefully, I know when I was in the office, uh, office buildings and the like, I always appreciated seeing, I'll try and get out of the way, a little bit of countryside when I couldn't get out. So hopefully I'm just helping you be a little bit happy with that. So... Right, have the most amazing day and I will speak to you soon with so much love. Kate, mynaturalhappiness.com, creator of the Seeds of Change program to help you go from hamster to happiness. Have an amazing day. Lots of love.